Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I'm going to discuss top 20 tips and tricks for S Pen that comes with Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. So let's start. The first thing is for example, you are watching a video or you are taking a lecture. Okay, so let me play some kind of a video and you want to take some notes related to that lecture or that video. So what you can do is use your pen button. Okay, just bring it closer to the screen. Just press it and then you will see an option of, of air commands over here. You see uh, this side very small pen just select it and once you select it you will see an option of create note so just select it once you select it the note will open and you can start you can start making notes okay about this lecture or video but you see uh, it is blocking the view of the video at the background so what you can do is you see there is a blue color bar on top just select it and once you select it you will see an option of opacity so just select it and when you see there is a bar appear on the screen i will show you so you have to just reduce it i will take it back you can see i'm reducing it and then you can see the video behind is now visible okay so video is now visible and i can also make my notes okay at the same time okay so you can have both at same time you can make your notes and then you can uh, simply if you want you can save it okay you can do anything if you want to erase something related to that lecture that video so you can do it as well and uh, once you finish with your work you can go back it will automatically save into your samsung notes so this is the first thing the second feature is related to the screen of memo so for example your screen is off i turn it off like this okay and now you want to make some notes or you want to make some memo so you can easily do it just use your s pen button okay just press and hold it okay just do it like this and then just tap on the screen two times so once you uh, do it like this, you see the memo will open in front of you and you can write on your screen. Okay, you can make notes and if you want to make some memo, okay, you can do it. And then there is option uh, like if you want to erase something, the colors option are also there. For example, if you want to change the color, you can use different color as well. And then at the end, once you finish with your work, you can also save it. Okay, so it is saved now. Okay, the next thing is, for example, uh, you are uh, doing uh, some work on uh, your tablet. And in the meantime, you want to make some notes. So simply what you can do is just simply, uh, again, uh, just press the uh, pen button, hold it, and then just tap on the screen two times. Okay, so the notes will open in front and you can start making uh, your notes. You can also adjust the size. Okay, if you want to make it small, you can also make it small. If you want to make it full, you can also do it from this uh, from this side so this is the third thing and then uh, the fourth uh, feature is related to the smart selection so for example uh, you open uh, uh, internet and you are uh, watching or you are looking at uh, some information and you want to uh, just grab some information for example uh, like this part you want to uh, take the screenshot so what you can do is simply uh, just use this air command option which is over here you see this pen just select it and then you see this smart select option so just use this one and then what you can do whatever area you want to select you can easily do it for example i want to select only this certain area okay so you can see it so i select this area now you can see it only take uh, the the screenshot of that specific area and now you can extract the text from it you can get the only text you can pin it to the screen you can share it you can also edit it if you want to edit you can also edit it you can see okay and then you can download you can share you can erase okay so you can do a lot uh, with this smart select option the next feature is related uh, to the screenshot of the full screen you can also do it with your s pen just simply uh, press it okay bring it closer to the screen you see the air command um, icon over here just select it and then you will see an option of screen right 
so this is the screen right option so just select it so once you select it, it automatically take the screenshot you can see of the full screen and then you can simply download it even if you want to write over here something you can do it as well for example i change the color you can write on your screen and then simply you can download it as well and you can share it as well the next feature is related to s pen to text feature so for example you open some kind of uh, uh, internet browser for example i open samsung internet and here you want to uh, write some website with your pen so what you can do is simply uh, just go over here okay and then what you can do is just start writing okay i write here google.com okay and then it will convert into the text over here and then simply you can just uh, select it and it open the website for you so whatever you want to write here you can write for example you write here something okay write.com and then it will oh, it will change into the text as well the next feature is uh, related to samsung notes which is the most important feature for students and lectures so for example this i open the samsung notes from here and then i open a new note by selecting this icon okay so the new note is open so in samsung notes you can do a lot okay and uh, you can take your lectures okay uh, and then you can also insert images for example if you want to make some kind of shapes you can also do it for example i make this shape and then it will make it neat for me so for example i select this shape i make this shape so it will make neat for me then i also have the option of writing to text option so for example i select this icon and then i want to write something so i just write with my pen okay and then it will convert into the text so you can see over here it is converting uh, my handwriting into the text which is the really really cool feature for from the samsung notes you can also edit the pdf files as well for example if you want to edit some pdf file you annotate some pdf file so you see there is a pdf op option over here you can simply import pdf and then you can edit or annotate that pdf as well and there are more options as well here uh, you can explore it so guys you can also insert any kind of image or text from your google um, uh, or from your internet to your samsung note so i will show you how you can do it just uh, simply drag this tray from here you can see you can just drag this tray out and then you you see the samsung internet icon over here just grab it and just drag it over here in the side okay and then it will open in the split screen mode so whatever you are searching for example i i'm searching uh, some kind of image and i want to insert into my notes i can simply do it so simply what you can do is use your s pen just hold the image okay and then just simply bring it over here you see i'm dragging it into my notes and then you see the image is here into my notes and then simply if i want i can change it i can crop it okay i i can label it i can write it okay so you can see i can do everything with this image and if you want to uh, bring some kind of uh, uh, text you can also do it so for example i want to use this text into my notes i simply select it okay and then once i select i just simply um, I just hold it like this and then just drag it okay you see i'm dragging it into my notes and then i put it over here so you can see over here the text is over here i can simply edit it if i want to edit okay i can highlight it if i want to highlight i can write something over here so i can do a lot in the samsung notes so the next feature is related to the uh, multitasking feature so you can do extreme multitasking uh, for example you open one app for example i open again the samsung notes okay and then uh, you just drag out this tray and you want to open the uh, internet as well you can do it just uh, bring it like this over here and then you want to open one more app you can do it just bring out the tray as well and then open any uh, app for example i open the google chrome i just drag it and then i just put it over here so you can see all of the apps are working perfectly fine for example if you want to um, uh, open the uh, video on youtube or your lecture you can make notes you can do pdf and then if you want to change their position you can do it just select this part okay just middle part and then just select it you can see you can change their positions as well okay you can see over here and then if you want you can do it manually as well with your s pen okay you see you can make the big uh, the one app big and the other one small 
you can do it and the other thing is you can also make your favorite multitasking selection so just select these three dots in the middle and just select this option this plus sign option so once you do it so for example you are working on some other app okay so uh, for example you open uh, your gallery okay but you want to uh, use the multitasking favorite multitasking apps that you already uh, select so just drag out this tray okay and then you see your favorite uh, multitasking apps are there so just select it and once you select it it will open the three apps together for you and then you can simply uh, use them okay everything you can do with your favorite uh, multitasking app so this is a really amazing feature the next feature is related to getting the text and put it uh, into the notes for example i open the uh, samsung internet and i have uh, some website some random website and i want to mm, take some text so for example i want to take this text i just select it like this okay i just select it okay and then i just simply copy it i will show you just select it and then simply i just copy it and now i want to uh, paste this text into uh, i want to make a note about this text so simply i use the air command option just select it create note okay and then simply i just um, uh, bring my pen on the screen i just hold the screen and then you see paste option over there so it will paste the text for me into my notes okay so the same text i paste it into my notes same way you can uh, uh, do the for the images as well the next feature is related to the uh, live messages option by using the air command so i just press the button bring it closer to the screen the air command option appear so i just select it and then you see this live messages so i just select it so once you select it you have the option to uh, make any kind of uh, live message for example i select i make a new message and i want to uh, make some drawing okay so i just select it any area and just start drawing okay so for example i make some kind of shape okay and then i press done so you will see how this appears okay so this is a really cool feature you can send uh, this uh, any kind of message uh, to your friends okay so this is how you can use the live message option the next feature is related to the drawing if you are interested in drawing or you want to learn how to draw so what you can do is just select this air command option uh, there is a, a app it's called pen up just select it and once you select it you have the options to draw okay there are a lot of things you can do the coloring you can do the live drawing okay there are challenges as well so for example if you want to select uh, some kind of coloring if you want to do it you can simply just do it if you want to use your pencil or pen you can do it okay or if you want to use colors okay so you can do this drawing as well so you can learn drawing as well in the pen up option the next feature is related to the uh, translation so you can do the translation of any text so what you can do is just simply select the air command option you see this option of uh, translate okay so just select it and once you selected your translation is open now you can open any kind of website which you want to translate for example i select here uh, from english to french so for example if you want to translate this part okay this text i select it and i want to translate so for example like this part so you can see it is translating the full uh, full paragraph for me so you can see over here okay and then if you want to change the language you can also change the language the language is option are here whichever language you translate into okay and you can change this la language as well from which language you want to translate so you can change it as well it's a lot of help for the student for the lectures as well the next feature is related uh, to the write on calendar option so you see this you can uh, make uh, your notes on the calendar for specific date okay so for example if you want to write something on your calendar you can write for some specific date there are a lot of things that you can make uh, your calendar you can make your schedules okay you can see your over here you can write over here and there are other options as well you can change the pen okay and uh, a lot of things you can do on the calendar okay the next feature is editing uh, your uh, air command option you can add different shortcuts on this air command you see this add shortcuts option so just select it and then here uh, you have option you can remove any apps from the air command or you can add more apps for example i want to add this app into my air command i just simply drag it okay i can put it anywhere in my air command option so you can see over here 
whichever position i want i can do it okay so this is the other thing uh, the next thing is uh, whenever you write uh, your hands on the screen okay for example i open the samsung notes i will explain it better over there so i i make it bigger okay i open it okay so for example uh, you want to write something okay with your pen on your screen and you put your hands on the uh, uh, on the screen so you can see there is uh, no prints or uh, no sketches or nothing will happen on the screen it's because it has the palm rejection technology so it, you don't have to worry about it you can simply put your hands on the screen you can make your notes and there will be no marks over here on this part wherever you put your hands into so this is really really amazing the next feature is writing on the video so for example i open my gallery okay and here i have some video okay and i want to uh, write something on my video so i can just simply use this editing option okay once i uh, go into the editing option you see there is an option of pen option of draw okay just select it okay and then you can um, uh, write on your video live okay so you start writing okay i will show you how does it work so i write this part okay so once i done i just select this part okay apply so now what you can do is you just play it and then you will see whatever i write it is uh, appear on my screen so you can see over it so you can do uh, for the, this with your s pen as well the uh, next feature is related to the uh, glance mode so glance mode is i will show you what you can do just open the air command okay and then you see this glance mode option so just enable it okay and once you enable it uh, you just open some kind of app okay so for example i open the onedrive option okay and then i just use this glance option so you see the app will go over here on the side i can work on any other app okay and if i want to just open in this app the previous app i just bring my pen closer to that uh, uh, that part and then it will open it for me and then when i remove my pen from it the app will go in the minimized position so for example i bring it closer you see it is open now and if i move it uh, uh, far so you can see it will close back so this is how you can use the glass mode the last feature is related to editing the edge panel settings so you can see over here this is the edge panel but you can add more option over here in this edge panel what you have to do you have to go into your settings once i enter uh, into settings go into the display option okay and then go into the edge panel okay i will show you so this is the edge panel option just select it and once you select it you see this option of uh, uh, panels app okay so just select it and once you select it you see there are different option okay so this one is i uh, already selected you can add live messages smart select tasks weather tools reminder clipboard so all of them uh, i select okay so now i will finish it okay i will go back and now i will take out the edge panel and then once i scroll it you will see the other uh, options start appearing uh, you can see over here this one and then we have this one weather info okay then we have this option reminder okay so you can see all of the options start appearing in the edge panel so this is how you can use the edge panel as well so this is really really cool feature so you can see over here so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much